In the year 1892, there was flu, which was affecting thousands of people in England. The Carbolic Smokeball Company advertised that their medicine would cure people of all effects of influenza, which they said, if taken according to their instructions. The company also advertised that anyone who does not get cured to the effects of the influenza after taking their smokeball medicine, would be rewarded with £1,000. I took the medicine according to the instructions. It failed to cure me. I am here in this court requesting you to order the Carbolic Smokeball Company to pay me £1,000, as it failed to fulfill its promise made in the advertisement. Your Honor, this is an absolutely ridiculous claim. First of all the offer was made in general not specifically to anyone. Add to that Mrs. Carlyle didn't accept our offer as she had not signed to the terms and conditions mentioned in the advertisement. So I request you to quash the petition filed by Mrs. Carlyle for the £100 claim from our company. After listening to both the parties and the arguments you've put forward, the court decided that the smokeball medicine has failed to reduce the effect of influenza, as promised the management need to pay compensation to Mrs. Carlyle. You argued that your company had not made an offer to Mrs. Carlyle. Actually an offer can be made to the public at large. Also, when you're making an offer to the general public, not everyone need to come to you and sign the offer. And the £1,000 that your company has deposited in Alliance Bank is a proof that you truly meant to compensate anyone who did not get cured by your medicine.